Welcome back to the last part of Dynamite Heady, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Walder Richards. Welcome to the virtual zone of Contra Heart Corpse, I guess. And we are fighting Dark Demon as Dynamite Heady. Here is how you're supposed to beat this sorry son of a bitch. Take a look at his hand. It has an orb, right? It seems to flash. And then it changes into a certain color. What does that mean? It's a color-coded boss fight, of course. Depending on the color of the orb, you have to select a specific power-up to avoid or deflect his attack. It's not self-explanatory. You have to learn it by yourself. So, of course you're gonna lose a couple of lives before you realize what is what. Damn, those shoulder pads are amazing. The pink orb will spawn these pumpkins. They can be either flying or bouncing. It does not matter at all. It seems to be a random pick. Oh, Dark Demon also has a wind-up key. The blue orb will emit this electric barrier which shoots balls. It's very hard to dodge, but at least you can dodge it. Well, at least if you're good enough, you can dodge like um, almost all of the attacks. You can only get hit like once or twice if you're good enough. Amazing shoulder guns. And of course there's the green orb which shoots out the rocket dildos. And there's multicolor orb which shoots the giant laser of doom. I think there's also an orange orb which makes a giant ceiling appear. It's it's going to try and crush you, but it's nothing to be worried about. The epic conclusion of this awesome battle begins! We are both one hit away from dying. Who is going to win? Will it be Heady? Or will it be Dark Demon? Well, what is it? Who win? Of course it's Heady. Now that's an explosion! And here's the cause of our misery. Smiley! You son of a... You see, Smiley is a magical amulet. I suppose... Oh, yeah, now they're going to have sex. Good. Smiley is a magical amulet. One time it heard the story that it was supposed to be given to the best of all the bestest peoples. Which is supposed to be heady. But guess what? He misheard it, this stupid cunt, and thought that he, Smiley, is the bestest of all best people. So he became corrupted and turned into Dark Demon. That's Japanese continue. That, that's a Japanese story, I believe. The American story is kind of similar. It's, it also involves Smiley, but I think in the American story he was just kidnapped by Dark Demon. Which does not explain how he showed up. Doesn't matter, Dark Demon stinks. He died. Alright, people, let's back up. The show is over. Sadly. We've beaten the game. And we also finished the show. The puppet show is over. And it's time to pack things and move on. Hey, he stole my ending demo sign. Cunt. This is quite visually interesting, I have to say. I, I like what I'm seeing. Mm, look, the castle. 
looks a bit damaged. I think it was because of Dark Demon exploding. Oh well. Wait, what's that? Can it be? It's... Oh, it's just Mr. Pooks. I found a super janitor again. Looks like he's up to something, but we'll never find out what, because nobody ever made a sequel! It stinks! I'd like to see a sequel for Dynamite Heady. Somebody should make a sequel. Well, that would be nice. But it's time for the curtain call! I honestly have nothing to say right now, so I'll just see you at the credits.
Smiley, you piece of shit! And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The credits of Dynamite Heady. Huh. To tell you the truth, I don't really know what to say. The credits is where we, the play, the, the let's players, just give some time to explain our thoughts, um, our final thoughts about the game, what we feel about them, what we think about them. But I'm actually having difficulties of thinking of what should I say. Dynamite Heady might be a game to you, but for me, it's a one of a kind experience. Back when I was little, I didn't understand much about it. It looked cool, it was fun. But any further than the nasty gatekeeper, I could never go. I never beat in the game. This, this victory is just one of the most recent victories that I've had. The very first time I beat in this game was around 2012, I guess. I don't remember, but it wasn't that, that long time ago. Dynamite Heady always seemed to me like a one-of-a-kind game. I would always come back to it to give it another shot. And I would always find the meeting with the nasty gatekeeper something to look forward to. It was always like a challenge. A challenge which I could not beat, but could not give up on either. And now that I've beaten the game, I don't know. It feels like it's just over. Like a journey has come to an end after all these years. And I finally reached my destination. Let's try to pull ourselves together and get some thoughts then. What do I think about this game? The game is great. It's amazing. It's definitely something which made the library of Sega games that much better. Sure, there's probably lots of great games on Nintendo consoles too, but this... I didn't have a Nintendo console. Nobody had a Nintendo. Nobody even knew such a thing existed back here. It was only Sega Genesis. Well, Sega Mega Drive, actually, but it's the same thing. And I'm pretty sure whoever had this game with them, they didn't feel angry about it. I'm pretty sure they felt quite happy to play this game. I certainly did. The story might not be very fleshed out, but does it matter? We are playing the story throughout the entire game. We are making story. Because if we die in the middle of a show, well the show is just over. There is nothing more to say about it. Gameplay is just good. There's nothing wrong with it. It could be better, of course, but the same could be said about just any game, really. I say the gameplay is just good. It's not perfect, but it's good. The music... Well, I might not be able to remember any of these tracks, but I can definitely recognize them whenever I hear them. They're definitely there, stuck in your mind. 
one of those happy thoughts which just stay in your subconscious until they are triggered. Overall, I say, Dynamite Heady is a great game. It is definitely worth to pick up. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Thank you for letting me play. I guess. Not a lot of games nowadays thank you for just playing it. It's like they know we're gonna get played, so we don't even have the courtesy to thank you for that. Back before, a thank you for playing the game was probably the best reward you could get from a game. Besides all the fun and excitement you got from playing it, of course. Now we got ourselves a little recap on how well we did in the stages, what kind of score we got. Well, I didn't get too much, but I think I did well enough. You know, every time I get to this credit screen, I feel a little sad inside. It makes me feel like... Like I'm looking at what used to be our past, already packed and ready to be disposed of. Because no one's ever gonna open up those boxes. Or so they think. Nowadays the games, they aren't bad, I'm not gonna say that, but they are not as good as this. They are not that good anymore. I can certainly tell that the quality of the games nowadays has dropped. But I can't say that, that this was not expected. It was. For any moments of good, there's gotta be some moments of shit. Hopefully, in the future the games will get better just like they were now. Just like they were with these games, like Dynamite Heady. So we just gotta persevere, we gotta wait. And even nowadays, there are great games to pick up and play. Dead Island. Um, Ground Control 2. Demolition Racer. No, that's actually an older game, but whatever. And I'm pretty sure there are many more games that I don't know about that are just as great. Even Minecraft, for instance. I don't particularly like the game, but it's definitely something. I can't say it's bad, but I don't like it. It's just my preference. This credit scene always makes me sad. But we will persevere! This is the game train. The journey never ends, and since we started from the old games, we will eventually visit the good old new games. But now we reached the end of the credit screen. We got four out of four secret digits. Meaning our journey is yet to end. At least for a couple more minutes. Let's do it! We must now enter the secret code which we received from all of those intermission games. I believe it was 8, 1, 5 and 6. Yes, it was. Open sesame, motherfucker. It's time to have one last fight. With the boss of SEGA Corporation! I mean, what else could it be? It's either that or Treasure, the company that made the game. Meanwhile, in Sega HQ, Heady is beating the shit out of these bodyguards and the boss. Give me some work, make sequels! <laughs> the good thing about this secret stage is that you cannot lose it, unless you turn off the game, you will always have infinite lives, so you'll, you'll be able to repeat the fight as many times as you want. 
Problem is, it's one of the hardest fights you'll ever get yourself into because... Um, the money bills can kill you in three hits. Luckily I found a glitch. If you stand at one of the edges of the screen, left or right, doesn't matter, and you keep hitting into the screen, like you, you shoot your head behind the screen to the left or the right, depending on the side you're on, you will actually hit the bodyguards which are sitting there waiting to come out. That's how I managed to beat one of those from the left side so fast. Once you get rid of the bodyguards, you will face the boss. He shoots homing money. Don't touch the money, it's actually contagious. It will kill you. Luckily the pattern for this one is very easy. Just wait till the till the most of the bills home in close to you and just move away. They don't have a chance. I like that sign up top. Money! Damn, he's pissed. Holy shit! He can hit that table so hard the whole place is shaking. I bet he's the reason why Japan have it, is having so many earthquakes. Go, Heady, go! Destroy this earthquake generator! Damn, he's relentless. But I really don't want to touch his money. It's coming out of his nipples. That's disgusting. He's gonna sneeze! Ah, uh, no more. I... I put it out. Where we go? And here's Eddie. Here to congratulate us on a very nice... battle. And... What? The fuck? He just killed himself. The fuck? Why'd he do that? I can't believe what I'm seeing. Is this true? I can't believe this. Let's put on some slow motion footage on this. Yep, he did kill himself, you saw it, but why? Was it the developer's way of saying we don't want to make sequels? Perhaps it's better that way. Maybe Treasure knows that if, if there's a sequel, it's probably going to fuck up, just like many other games with their sequels. Take Sonic games for example, some of the sequels were great. But others, they just fucked up miserably. I won't point fingers which ones, you decide which ones suck, but you get the point. I suppose Treasure was trying to get themselves some kind of an insurance in here, but if anyone's gonna make a sequel, they won't get blamed because they, they just killed Hedy. I still can't believe it that they actually did that. Why? This is a kid's game. If if little kids saw that, they would probably get... Oh. That's just horrible. Motherfuck. He killed himself. We don't even need the creepy pastas anymore. The game just killed itself. I need to calm down. I need some some anesthetics. Anything really to just make myself forget about this. Oh well. I was all the Richards. Pleh. I'm Haldo Richards, this was the game train, and this, this game, was Dynamite Heady, by Treasure, made in 1994. See you next time.
I can't believe he killed himself. 